What's up guys, Mainly Hockey Cards here, and today I'm presenting 10 more 2021-22 Upper Deck Series Young Guns Rookies that you should be looking forward to. The first video was the most popular on my channel to date, so I hope you guys find this one helpful too. Starting things off, Jeremy Swayman, goaltender for the Boston Bruins, seems to be the future of their goaltending. While Rask just signed for a year and Allmark is on for another few years, all signs point to Swayman gradually taking the reins. He was electric last year, and while he hasn't duplicated that same success this year, the expectations are still there. Yegor Chinnikov is the first of two Columbus Blue Jackets players on this list and has a respectable 13 points in 27 games thus far this season. Chinnikov was an extremely surprising draft pick, fooling almost everyone with how early he was selected. But as of right now, the pick looks solid, and he showed real promise for a Blue Jackets team that will continue to need that. Cole Sillinger is the second Blue Jackets player, and he's also had a respectable 13 points in 35 games. It's not all too impressive at face value, but he's only 18 years of age, and that turns the table. He's got size, skill, and could very well be a first-line player in the near future. Dawson Mercer seemed to be a bit of a dark horse going into this season, and he's really impressed in New Jersey. New Jersey is one of my favorite prospect-heavy teams, and Mercer is just another great player in the works. He just turned 20 and already has 20 points in 37 games, a very solid start and fantastic sign of future production. Matt Boldy has gone at least a point per game at every level since last season. He just began his NHL career and has four points in four games. The ceiling for Boldy is high, the expectations are high, and so far he hasn't disappointed anyone. He's exceeded all expectations to this point, and I think he'll be a household name in the NHL. With the potential that he also plays with Kirill Kaprizov and Marco Rossi, the Wild could be a scary good team very soon. Shane Pinto recorded 7 points in 12 games last season in the NHL for a Senators team that is still in shambles. Unfortunately for the 21-year-old, he was injured early on in this season and has only played five games. However, once he does come back, he will rejoin a young offense that could be potentially lethal for years to come. Seth Jarvis has a really solid 15 points in 26 games for a scary good Hurricanes team. He actually almost had 17 points, but unfortunately had two goals called off in a 24-hour span earlier this season. At just about 20 years of age, he's so far had two pretty successful pro seasons and is going to be a mainstay in the top six for the Hurricanes, at least through the rest of his ELC, moving forward. Cole Perfetti has recorded no points in four games this season at the NHL level, but had 26 points in 32 AHL games last season and has 15 points in 17 games this season. Additionally, he put up six points in two games for Team Canada at the World Juniors before they were cancelled. Niels Lundqvist is not a relative of Rangers great Henrik Lundqvist, but he very well could be a great player for them in the near future. The 2018 first rounder had 4 points in 25 games this season before being sent to the AHL for some more seasoning. Don't let the demotion fool you though, he's coming off back-to-back -back SHL seasons of 30 plus points, and at only 21 years old, is still adjusting to the North American game. Lastly, Mason McTavish had 3 points in 9 games for the Ducks before being sent back to the OHL, where he has 12 points in 7 games, including 9 goals. He also had 5 points in 2 games at the World Juniors, and had 11 points in 7 games in the U18s a year ago. The Ducks are already showing great promise with young players, and McTavish adds to that. Narrowly missing the cut for this video, I'll honorably mention Jake Neighbors, Scott Perunovic, Sean Dersey, Jonathan Dalen, and Tanner Janelle. So, who else besides these guys and the guys in the first video are you watching? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Thanks, everyone.